All right, I'm going to share another little uh, unanticipated project I've got going on here. This is my 1999 Cub Cadet 2165. And I was mowing my weeds about a uh, week ago down here in that area. And I was making the corner coming up the hill, and the tractor started to shake and shudder, and I started going backwards down the hill, which was uh, not a comfortable feeling. And what happened, and I'll walk you over to the bench and show you, I ended up having another unexpected product. Here's the drive shaft. This piece goes over that piece. I have to figure a fix inside here. Hopefully we can see that. We're going to bug it up. I'm going to have to clean that. And what goes in there are these little plastic urethane barrels, which they call, yeah, they call them barrels. Dry barrels, Cup Cadet dry barrels. Eight in the front. And there's eight in the rear. And I've got three in the rear that are about done. And obviously I'm going to replace all of them because you have to completely dismantle the tractor. I mean, I've got pieces everywhere. Pieces all over my bench. The battery's out. you got to take the cowl off, all your levers. I've got the body of it out here, which is heavily rusted due to the wonderful uh, powder coat that they use. Nothing's painted anymore. Everything's got powder coat. I asphoed all this metal a few days ago. And before I put it back on, I'm just going to wire brush the loose stuff off real quick. Give it a quick spray bomb job and throw it back on. This thing's 20 years old. And uh, we placed the engine in it. I think back in 08, it had a 16 horsepower Vanguard. Now it's got a 23 horse. And there is no way to get to this drive shaft. As it connects here to the hydrostat. And that's going to go all the way inside there to attach to the, the engine. So it's quite a job. All right, I'm going to get back to work here on the drive shaft. And uh, I'll try to film when I go to put these barrels back in. But I'm going to get my little rotary file up and uh, clean this where it was. That's the noise I was hearing when it puked out the barrels. There's no way this makes a connection, and uh, there's a piece of one. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I've got this uh, cleaned up. It took about two minutes. I just happened to find a correct size, a little bit in my box of abrasive bits. So it's ready to put back together. I'm going to start putting the barrels in try to get it somewhat loaded and show you how I did it if I can figure out a way to do it. Alright. Alright, I'll show you what I did here. <clears throat> Took some of this red grease that I use for everything. It's just uh, wheel bearing grease, waterproof grease. I've been using this stuff forever. Coated the flanges here where these little rubber pieces go on both sides. This piece and that piece. It's a lubricant. And then what you do, and hopefully I can catch this now that the camera's going, is pull this collar out. It actually gets easier the more you start taking out. I don't know if you can see the grease in there. You want to loosen this up a little bit, take the little barrel, tilt it, stick it in, then seat it, <clears throat> pull out the next one. The grease actually helps these go in easier and actually helps them stay in. Okay, so there's two left. I didn't want to put grease on the barrels because I figured if you me, I'd just drop them. So you take the barrel, move this collar forward, tip it a little bit, squeeze it in. There's little notches that hold these in place. And bingo, there you go. There's your new drive barrels are installed. So I've never done one of these before. 
this whole thing probably didn't take me, it took me longer to set up the camera than it did to do the job, so maybe about two minutes. Now I'm going to do the back side, which I won't bore you with. It's identical to the front side, and then it'll be re reassemble the entire tractor. So that'll be fun. But I'll be able to mow my weeds again, so that'll be cool. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back with more. Okay, I've got the uh, drive shaft reinstalled. I've got the uh, plastic piece put up against the fan. It keeps debris out. And I'll share another little secret with you. I'll put the drive shaft in intentionally backwards. That red stripe is supposed to go to the rear end. There is no difference between the front of the shaft and the rear of the shaft. And this one here was the front. And it had a lot more play and wiggle in it than that one did. So that's the one that's going to wear out quicker. So I put the nice tight one that was on the back side, I put that up front, and I put this one that had the little bit of wiggle in it at the back of the uh, transmission pump, that's the hydrostat pump, because that's really not going to move, or very little it'll move. And uh, so you can put it in either way, that's the point. So I'm not going to bore you with the rest of this install, so I'm going to do some paint work on it. But I do have to uh, pick this uh, column back up, which is awful hard to do with one hand. Make sure nothing's broken. A bunch of wires have to be hooked up. It's just a mess. It's going to take hours. So the drive shaft part itself isn't that bad, but you do have to completely disassemble the tractor, as you see here. That is, that's where the work is, is taking the whole entire tractor apart. All the body panels, the deck, control pedals, forward reverse, brakes, parking brake, cruise control, pedal that comes through here. That's got to come out. Steering wheels all got to come out. You got to unplug the electrics, electronics underneath, all the plugs. So anyway, that's it. Cup Cadet 2165. Drive shaft barrel bushings have been installed, drive shaft has been reinstalled, and now I just got to finish putting it back together, and uh, that's just time and a lot of nuts and bolts, so I'm not going to bore you with that, plus I'm going to paint the stuff before I put it back together. So that's it, I hope that helps somebody who has one of these older uh, make-believe Cub Cadets. This is an MTD tractor painted yellow, but it was one of their better ones, it was a shaft drive, not a belt drive. Alright, so that's it. I'm up.